Hey, this is Lance from Langchain. I want to briefly talk about a really interesting feature that comes with Langgraph Platform. So Langgraph Platform gives you a very nice way to flexibly deploy your graphs. But what's really nice is it also gives an, an interface for working with and building on top of them. So here's an example. Let's say I have a deployed graph that's running, for example, on Platform, and I'm building a new graph locally. I can take the deployed graph and actually embed it as a subgraph in what I'm building locally. So I can kind of compose these two into a new graph and then work with it. So let's show a simple example of connecting to a remote graph. First, just set the API key associated with the account that has the deployment. And if you go to Langsmith account, so here I am, this is the Langchain tenant. You'll see here, go all the way down, there's this Langgraph cloud. So these are all your deployments. You can search for them. Here's one I want to work with. Click in. Now what's cool here, you're going to see it has a bunch of nice observability here. Trace counts, all the traces. But what's also nice, it gives you this API URL that you can actually connect to. I copy that over. Now back to my notebook. Paste that URL in here. And I'm just going to supply a graph name. Now what's this graph name? Go to the repo associated with the graph you want to work with. For example, with chat langchain, it's right here. So it's langchain i chat langchain. And the langgraph.json is the config file that the deployment uses. And the name of the graph is just going to be noted here. So in this case, the graph name is chat. And that points to the code itself. So I specify the deployment URL, the graph name from the langgraph.json. And I just call remote graph with the name and the URL. And then I can interact with it. For example, in this case, I can invoke it and I can stream from it. Pretty cool. Now let's show how to take this remote graph and actually run it as a subgraph. Now all I need to do is just builder add node. That remote graph, remember, we defined up here. We just add that as a node and let's try compiling the graph. Pretty cool. You can see all the logic that lives in that remote graph is actually represented here in the graph diagram. That's pretty neat. This is actually showing it as a subgraph. And just like before, I can stream. Now let's show an example of doing something that's a bit realistic. So I have this chat langchain subgraph now that I can work with. And I'm going to build a new graph that incorporates that logic as, for example, a router. So here's what I'm thinking. I start, I take a user question. If the question pertains to langchain, I route over to that chat langchain graph, great. All that logic is deployed. I don't have to worry about any of that. And what's really nice is I can actually visualize the whole subgraph here, so that's pretty cool, right? Now this is what I'm actually gonna run locally here in my notebook. Now this is just gonna be a custom node that'll call the chat model with the input if it's not related to langchain. So for this, I initialize a model. I basically define a decision that I want the model to make. I want it to return a binary flag and I specify some prompt for that router. Now this conditional edge is what I'm gonna run first, where I'm gonna invoke that model with structured output, the decision being the structured output I want it to return, invoke that with the input question, and just look at the flag. If the flag is true, which means the model decided I want to route to that remote graph, it returns true, and then I return the name of that node. Otherwise, I return the name of the call model node. Call model node is just a very basic model call given the inputs. And the prompt is specified right here. Your chat bot respond. Very simple. So here, I add the remote graph as a subgraph just like before. I add my call model node. I add my conditional edge, basically the router, to go to either call model or the remote graph. And there we go. Compile it. Now here's the test. Let's just pass an input like hello. We shouldn't expect this to actually call the remote graph. Yeah, responds directly. Now I ask a question about Langchain. As we saw before, streams the output from the remote graph. So let's have a quick peek at Langsmith to see what happened under the hood there. So we started, go to route message. This ran our model that looked at the input, called our schema effectively as a tool, enforcing the model to make a decision in a structured format that we can use downstream in our graph. That's the big idea here. It returns a flag, in this case true, because the question was related to Langchain. 
If true, then it routes to Langchain Lang graph, which is our remote graph. And this is pretty cool. You can see here's the output of our remote graph. And there is our answer that we streamed. That's really it. Pretty simple. So overall, the big idea here is graph composability. I can deploy graphs via LangGraph platform, and I can run those as subgraphs in anything new I'm building. So I can kind of compose logic from deployed to kind of new things that I'm building in a very nice seamless way using this remote graph interface. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks.